Okay, Brianne, you're a student at Princeton. Yes. And you're here at the AGU in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And you did a poster here about, and I'll just show you this. This is on flash flooding. Mm -hmm. And you found out that the city that gets the most flash flooding in the United States is? Tulsa. Which is my hometown. <laughs> and number two is? Baltimore. Now, why do you think it is Baltimore it gets so many? Well, Baltimore has a combination of thunderstorms and then it also gets some tropical cyclones coming up as well as just really old urban infrastructure that kind of concentrates storm water and brings it all together really fast and then you get these really big flash flood peaks. And one other thing that caught my eye here is that most of the flash flooding tends to be more on the northeast, the heavier rains on the northeast sides of these cities, and that is because of? Well, northeast of urban areas, we get more rainfall due to convergence from buildings and urban heat island effects and urban aerosols. And so our research shows that this actually causes increased flash flooding also. Is there anything cities can do about it? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> well. <laughs> Not, but, a, not really part of your research, yeah, I understand that. I think that it might show that you have to be a little more careful when you're building downwind of the city. And it maybe take flash flood warnings in those cities especially. Yes, especially seriously and know to be more careful there. Is this your first visit to the AGU? No, this is my third year here? Fourth year here, I really? think. You're I've lost track. This is only my second. <laughs> Brianne, thank you.